Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have created a PHP file to retrieve all the items according to the category. So how can we use this PHP file in our Android apps? Now let's create a new activity. Right click here, new activity. And let's call this activity, for example, items item activity okay finish now the first thing is how can we know which category the user have selected from the home ACT in this case we should pass a value from our home ACT using the list view to the items ACT using the intent as we have uh, learned this thing in the previous video so the first thing will be the name of the list view which home cat dot set on item click listener home cat dot set on item click listener okay this means if you click any item in this list view so again you can select it set on item click listener but select the one okay this one sorry with the curly brackets now it has four parameter one of these four is the variable i i here for the index to define the position of the element you have click on it for example if I need to know which item or which category the user have clicked, very simple, it is just something like var mm, cat of data type string equal list, okay, x, what, no, not x, sorry, i. So in this case, he will take the position or the value of the variable the user have been click on it or the category and store it in the variable cat so the variable cat will take a value from the list from the array list according to the index and the index will depends on which category the user have clicked then let's define an intent intent for example Okay, obj equal, or sorry, var obj equal intent from the current activity, this, to the item ACT. Well, then, to set the value, we are going to use obj dot boot extra we are going to define a variable called cat to send the value of the variable cat after that start activity option so now if you click on any item from the category list this value will be sent to the item act then how can we receive the value from the item act it is very simple just something like that let's define a variable here also called cat and it is also of data type string then equal intent dot get string extra cat this means the variables which have been sent with the name cat will be received in the item activity and store it in the variable cat then here we have defined here this web service so instead of course instead of localhost i'm going to change this localhost to 192.168.8.100 and copy this line and let's create variable for url equal and best here but instead of the word pizza, 
the category will be equal to the variable cat. Okay, so till this step, till this step, what we have done is the following. We have sent the value of the category from the home activity and we have received it in the item activity and we pass this category to the URL of the web service. Now, let's go to the item activity, to the design, and let's draw a recycler view. Okay, here, yeah, in the app compact, let's draw the recycler view. Okay, he will ask you, he will add a library for recycler view. Let's click OK. He will start adding this library to the build Gradle script as we have seen in previous videos. Yes. Now, after this, we are going to add some ID for this recycler view. So, let's go here to text and add ID for the recycler view, something like ID, we can call it item underscore RV. According to the width, we can add match parent and also according to height, let's add match parent, okay? So in this video, we have added the recycler view to the item ACT, also we have sent the category from the home to the item ACT. We have received this category in the item ACT and added to the URL. See you next video.